Hey everyone, this is Mike from Signworks. Today we're going to be doing another technical video um, with our Anajet MP5i. Um, what we're going to be doing today is replacing one of the print heads. Um, you'd have to replace it for any number of reasons. Ours was we just had a blockage in the actual print head itself. Um, so we're going to go through it. It's very simple as far as like what you need to do. Um, so we're just going to go through it. The only tools that you need are you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. You need a 330 seconds Allen wrench. This one we have an ex um, extra long one T handle. And then also possibly a pick or maybe like something else that you can get underneath the ink lines with. Um, you can use tweezers or anything else that comes to a kind of a fine point to get underneath of it. Um, so to get started, what we want to do is uh, we want to go to our menu and release the carriage. Once you release the carriage, you'll open it up. Now for the purpose of the video, I have already removed the cover. This is what you need for the Phillips head screwdriver. Um, you'll just have screws on the plate that will just take off. That's all you need to do with that. I've already done it on this one. So the next thing you have to do is after you get it, after you get um, the carriage released, you want to turn off the printer completely. Because um, it is computer and you don't want any static electricity. Also with that you want to make sure that you touch the metal to discharge you so in case you're shoving your feet you don't accidentally mess up on the boards. Um, so the one that we're going to be replacing today is going to be the Cyan and Magenta. Uh, we have the new, new print here right here. Right there, that's our new print head. A nice new box. So there are two screws on both sides of the print head. One in the front and one in the back. Now that is the reason that you need the extra long Allen wrench is to get this one in the back. So you can use a short one as well but it's going to be a whole lot easier if you come across the top just to get it off. Now initially if you're doing this for the first time uh, it's going to be a little tight so you're going to have to twist it kind of hard and you're going to hear it break. Um, basically what it's doing is just breaking loose. It's not actually breaking the screw. But you're going to turn it and you're going to hear it like kind of click. That little click was you're breaking the screw loose. So just want to take it all the way out. Be careful not to drop it. And then the same thing on the back. Again, be careful not to drop your screw. So after that, you have a couple other things that you have to take off, which is real simple to take off. You have to take off these little PCB boards. One says odd, the other one says even. The only thing you really need to take note is which side which one has. The odd is going to be on your left side if you're looking at the printer, and even will be on your right side. Because that's going to be how you need to put it back on. So after you have those connect disconnected, you can come down here to your lines, and it helps if you kind of pull it out. That's what you're going to use the pick or tweezers or anything like that for. You'll just want to come off to the side. Um, be very uh, gentle as not to rip your hose, uh, but you want to try and get underneath, underneath the hose just to kind of lift it off. And again, take your time, be patient. Try not to hurt yourself or the printer. A little bit of ink will come out. Um, so if you want to wear gloves, just to make sure you don't get too messy in yourself, um, it is recommended. next thing to also take note is where the print lines are coming from to know where to go. 
Um, initially, the two out, this outside one, if you look in it in the back, you may want to come down here. You have the four lines. Let me move this out of the way. Here are the four lines. There's going to be the outside one, which is going to go to the front, and the in inside one is going to go to the back. On this one, the inside one goes to the front, the outside one goes to the back. So one, two, one, two. Just take your time, be patient, taking it off. It may, it, may give you, it may take you a few tries to get it off. Um, these are really tight, so to make sure that there's no air in, that goes into the lines. So again, just be patient. Okay. Now the lines are off. This is your old print head. You can put it wherever you want. Do whatever you want with it. We're just gonna keep it just as a backup in case we ever have to. I'm, I may try and soak the heads, see if I can unclog it. Um, just keep it as a backup. But I'm not gonna worry about it right now. So let me just clean up a little bit of this mess real quick. So now we're going to install the new print head. Now, the good thing about this is that it's just the exact reverse of what you just did. So the only thing that you need to keep in mind is when you pull it out, see which side says odd, which side says even, so you know which side is the front of the print. So odds on the left, evens on the right. I recommend pulling up the ribbons first so you don't get anything on the ribbons. So you don't have to worry about cleaning them or getting them damaged or anything like that. And then just come down here, look at which one was the inside and the outside, and just slide them on. Make sure it goes all the way down to the bottom. Just like that. Then you want to lift it up, don't drag it, and then put it right in the slot where it goes. And it'll fit snug in there. Then after, if you want to, if you haven't already done it, just take off, take off the plastic off the the, the board on the ribbon. Snap it into place, make sure it is fully in. It's got little notches on both sides. Um, just You can use your fingers, just kind of like push it down.
just like that. All right, it's in. Now you put your your screws back in place. Okay, and that is pretty much all it is to it to install it. Now, the next few steps are basically just refilling the lines and getting everything back to the printing, uh, everything back to printing. So we're gonna turn it back on, turn the power on, and at this point, if you still wanna leave the cage off, it'd be fine just in case you have to make any adjustments and also so you can see the lines when they fill. So now we're back to the main setting, um, but we need to refill these lines. As you can see, there's no, no ink in them, so we're just going to have to do a fill. So do like you normally do, just go to your menu, maintenance functions, startup fill, and print lines. Uh, for the first part, just do it for about 20 seconds, just to see that should be enough, but in case it doesn't, then you'll do it for another 20 seconds. Uh, as you can see, the line's filled up. So when it's done, we'll do a nozzle check. Or we'll do a print clean, um, and then we'll do a nozzle check. We're going to start off with the light clean. So as you can see, first pass, I mean, we could probably do another light clean, but straight off the bat, tremendous improvement. So I'll probably just do another light clean, get rest, rid of the rest of those little lines, and then we'll be ready to go, start printing again. So the only other thing left to do is put the cage back on, and then you're back to where you were before. Um, so again, I uh, hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions or want to see any other kind of videos, please just let us know. So if you want to leave comments or send us an email or give us a call, I'll be more than willing to help you out. All right, keep printing.